Hey there everyone, my name is Eric and welcome back to Surviving Together. Uh, I'm sorry if my voice is a little uh, raspy, I guess. Uh, I just noticed that. Uh, I don't know why. But anyways, uh, I have less than, well, approximately five hours to actually record, edit, and upload this video fully tonight, because tomorrow is when it's supposed to be coming out. I got back from my vacation a little later than I expected, and I thought I would be able to have plenty of time to do this today, but it's a little later than I expected, so we're going to get straight on to things, um, and right here I've gotten a little bit of a plan wrote down here. So first off, what I want to do is I want to go down to the portal, which is over there, and I have marked the coordinates from Victifier's Exploration, and I have the ice biome coordinates. So we're going to be going there, getting a bunch of packed ice, and we're going to make the pathway from the home portal to the jungle portal really quick, and all the way, I believe, probably, from the uh, ice biome portal back to the jungle portal really quick. Because that one will be a little longer. It's approximately uh, 350 blocks away from the jungle portal in the netherwise. Uh, the coordinates are 4, 000, negative 4,500 zix. So that's pretty far from this house. So I decided to do it in the nether. And so we're going to be going down there. I'm going to mine out a better way. I've got my efficiency 3 pickaxe here because of time. And I'll just combine these later in an anvil. So uh, I need obsidian. So I'm going down to the mine to go get a little more. Uh, I should just be able to get by with three pieces of obsidian. And then we'll get the rest from the portal after we create that uh, to the ice biome. So uh, things should be going all right we should be able to get most of this stuff done but i don't know wish me luck guys all right i just gotta say this i, I just noticed this so this is the unbreaking three pickaxe and this is how fast it goes through just like that and then if i pull out the efficiency three pickaxe this is how fast it goes and holy cow that is fast we can get a lot of mining done with this. So uh, the durability is at 1481, and I'm just going to click a couple times. Just a little bit. There we go. And now it's at 1461. So that goes down really fast, although it mines really fast as well. So, so that's worth it. But we are making our way now over to the portal that takes us to the jungle. So um, I'm making this way a little quicker. So one, it will be a lot easier for me to build the pathway here. And we'll need a little bit less ice. And also, it'll be a lot quicker for us to get back and forth here because this is a straight shot basically to the portal over there. So yeah, just making it as fast as we can. And we should be there in a little bit but I'll let you guys know uh, how much longer we've got to go and kind of the direction that the other portal needs to be going in once we get there all right I just gotta say this I, I just noticed this so this is the unbreaking three pickaxe and this is how fast it goes through just like that and then if I pull out the efficiency three pickaxe this is how fast it goes and holy cow that is fast we can get a lot of mining done with this. So uh, the durability is at 1481, and I'm just going to click a couple times. Just a little bit. There we go. And now it's at 1461. So that goes down really fast, although it mines really fast as well. So, so that's worth it. But we are making our way now over to the portal that takes us to the jungle. So um, I'm making this way a little quicker. So one, it will be a lot easier for me to build the pathway here. And we'll need a little bit less ice. And also, it'll be a lot quicker for us to get back and forth here because this is a straight shot basically to the portal over there. So yeah, just making it as fast as we can. And we should be there in a little bit but I'll let you guys know uh, how much longer we've got to go and kind of the direction that the other portal needs to be going in once we get there okay so I had to make a quick stop back home uh, well actually it wasn't very quick uh, it took a while but uh, I had to figure out kind of what I was doing uh, but Victifier lended me uh, 10 iron ingots so we subtracted that from what he owes me from his project and I took a lot of cobblestone from him because he doesn't want it and so that'll be useful for building in the nether because we'll prevent some gas and stuff but now I just have 31 iron I'm gonna be completely out of iron after this though but I need three of these 
and then we're gonna go like that and that so thank goodness now we have an anvil and now we're able to combine uh, tools and repair them so for the time being I'm just gonna put it right there uh, that's an ugly spot but whatever so we need to combine these pickaxes because okay so I'm breaking three and efficiency three only five wow uh, should we give it a name uh, maybe we should give it a name. Uh, speaking of names, uh, w we need more people to suggest a name for our horse. Uh, only Teddy suggested uh, the name for a horse, which was Whitney. And so I need more of you guys, because that's not much of a, not not much of a, uh, uh, what's the word? A contest, I suppose, if only one person goes into it. So we need more of them. Uh, and then we'll be able to pick a random winner then. So please be sure to comment a name for the horse. But uh, what should our pickaxe be called? Um, I don't know. Um, uh, I don't. I don't have a clever name. So actually, I'm gonna have you guys name that as well. Uh, yeah, I don't have any names uh, for that off the top of my head right now. But that's much better. Now we got a lot more durability, and now I'll be able to actually get through the Nether a lot quicker than what we've been doing. And also speaking of nether, I gotta deposit all of my netherrack because we're gonna be getting a ton more because I still have tons and tons to mine. But we'll be there eventually, so I shouldn't uh, keep complaining. But we'll get there. We'll get there slowly but surely. Alright, so as you can see by our X, Y, and Z coordinates, we're pretty much in the right location. Uh, I did just tunnel back there and then I realized I was on the wrong Y axis. So I've created a little staircase going up here and we are pretty far away from the last time you saw my coordinates were not nearly this big but here we are and this is where we're going to build the portal exactly so right here is the perfect block that we need to start on and then it will go right over here and this should be the perfect location for the portal because looking at the screenshot Victifier sent me it looks like that area is not blocked by anything and the portal should be able to just spawn right in that location if it doesn't that's okay it should spawn really close to it but here we are so when we go there we should pop out in an ice biome and my inventory is pretty much completely full so I'm gonna have to make my way back there though back home to go and empty it but that shouldn't be too bad now that we've got this path all cleared out but let's see where this takes us and uh oh we're over the ocean my goodness uh, this is not uh, exactly what I had in mind so let me take a look at the coordinates again and let's see if we can figure out what the problem is Okay, uh, I just realized what I did. I did the same thing I did on pretty much all the portals. I did not pay attention to the negative axis. Great, I wrote it down all correctly, but I tunneled the wrong direction. So we really need to go 300, no, 632 blocks that direction in order to get to where we want to be. Holy cow, that's going to be a long ways. That is even longer than it took me to get to this spot. And that took a long time. That took about 40 minutes. My gosh. Oh boy. We gotta go all the way that way. Whew. Wow. At least I've got about 200 of them cleared out already. Oh hey. Uh, I found this random chicken here. Next to a pigman. Although I just pushed him off the edge and killed him. But I... Yeah. Uh, how did this chicken even get here? There's no portal even nearby really. I mean, my portal to, to get over here is about 400 blocks that way. Uh, wait, hold on, where'd he go? Uh, what the heck? How is there a chicken here? It, clearly, it was a bug, and he just spawned in here randomly. But what the heck? I don't know. Uh, okay, I was just talking to Victfire about this, and <laughs> he's kind of amazed how I did that again. Yeah, because I've done it quite a bit, and I feel like we're going to run out of resources. I mean, at least we got a clear way to the ocean again. Uh, why do I always end up in the ocean? That's my question. Every time I tunnel somewhere in the wrong direction, I end up in the ocean. And also, we need to go one over this way. But, holy cow, I hope there's no more open areas, because that is the longest part that takes for me to tunnel over there. Because when I get into an open area, I have to build the cobblestone path. 
And one, I'm kind of running out of cobblestone. I mean, I didn't have too much cobblestone anyways. But I like doing this a lot more than tunneling out with cobblestone. Because that's what takes the most time. But uh, we should be there in no time, I think. Uh, depending if this keeps up. But yeah, I'll let you guys know when I get there. Hopefully we haven't wasted too much of the episode on just this. Like last time. I mean, jeez, I'm not good at linking nether portals. Oh gosh, that's not a good sign. Oh my gosh, that's far. Oh my goodness. I have to build all across that? Oh. No, no, no. I don't think that's a, I don't think that's a very good idea. So I Oh jeez, there's not even really too much solid areas that go across this thing. Besides that over there, but that's a long That's far. Oh, am I going to have to I think I'm going to have to like pillar across this whole thing. Who? Who? I got stuff on me. Wow. Okay. Uh we just okay, we just came out of here. We're already at negative negative 85, I guess. We're at negative negative 100, okay? So we're negative 100. I'm guessing that's about 200 blocks that way. Maybe 100. 100 or so. Did it upset me? Uh uh well, yeah, because I thought I was done. Uh, jeez. Oh my goodness. Uh, alright, no more cuts until I'm done with this. I, I just gotta, I gotta get done with this. Alright, I'm sorry guys. This is crazy. <sighs> Ooh, oh, I just got hit by a ghast. I was, I was tweeting, I was tweeting out a little update on this episode, and I hear in the background of my headphones a gas to fire. And then so I immediately hopped over to Minecraft just to see a fireball come straight at my face and knock me backwards onto this thing. And holy cow, that could have been dangerous because I was just about getting over to this thing. Oh man, that would have been terrible. Uh, uh, no tweeting while Minecrafting, everyone. That's your lesson for today. Uh, wow, I promise no more clips. But I thought you guys should probably hear that. Jeez, I am really, really not looking forward to pillaring across this, especially now that I know there's a ghast, like, right, right near me. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah. Oh, man. Okay, so I've made it over here, and as you can tell, I did not choose to go across that whole way, so I just kind of made a little detour and just went over this area over there. So it's a little extra walking, but not too much. Uh, so that should be pretty easy. But I've already set up our little area, so we're just going to go just like that. Normal size portal. And light it up, and fingers crossed, all these coordinates match up everything that I've done. And so we should spawn in the ice biome, or right near it. And we're in a cave, uh, so that's pretty promising still. So our coordinates need to be negative 4506, so we just need to go this direction more. Uh, no, this way, and negative 2522, 91. So we've spawned really far down in the ground, and I assume that could only be because, well, uh, actually... Uh, I'm not too sure. It's probably just some sort of thing blocking up there. But anyways, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna take out this portal. I'm gonna move it up, uh, and we should have perfectly linked portals by the time I'm done with this. All right, so here we are. As you can see, we're in the ice plains biome. I believe that's what's called. Yes. No, the ice plains spikes, and I spawned just a little bit down there. Uh, I came out of the ground right down there, but uh, it doesn't seem too big but it should be enough so we should be able to mine all this stuff up and we should be able to get back back to the place uh, in no time so let's just see um, let's get what what I thought I thought I thought you were able to I thought you were, okay I thought you were to mine packed ice with a regular pickaxe and you didn't need soak touch because it's packed ice. What the heck? Uh, you're kidding me. No way. Uh, that is ridiculous. Uh, wow. Okay, that is upsetting. We need soak touch in order to get this. That is crazy. Are you kidding me? 
Holy cow. That is not cool. Um, what the heck? Do you have to be kidding me? Can you make ice? Is there a way that you can make ice? Like, can you craft ice at all? Like, with snow blocks? I don't know. Okay, well, at least, at least I got those linked up. But what the heck? I'm gonna have to go look this up and talk with Fixifier. Holy cow, that might ruin our whole episode. Jeez. The story you are about to hear is true. Only the names have been changed. Only the names have been changed. Alright, so first off, I just want to say, hopefully you enjoyed that little time lapse there. Uh, I find the music to be very suiting of what we just went through. But I want to say uh, sorry for this crazy episode. You guys may not notice it as much as I will, uh, because I was the one kind of doing, doing the stuff in the background. But this has been the most frustrating and long-winded episode I've ever created. And... I haven't even spent a ton of time on it, which is ridiculous. Um, I, wow, I uh, I could say a lot about this. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Oh, Bear was on here. Hmm, interesting. Uh, but anyways, I just want to say sorry for that. Uh, hopefully you still enjoyed it, though. As I uh, watched back just the previous few clips, uh, I did find myself to kind of enjoy it. Uh, it was filled with tons of clips and cuts and such, uh, but we did not get as much done as I would like to. I had a lot more stuff planned for the episode, but I mean that kind of comes down to that I did not have enough time to hardly do any of those plans, simply because I got home a little later than I expected, and this is supposed to be coming out uh, the next day after I'm recording this. But I want to say that tomorrow morning when this comes out, which will be 9 a.m. as normal, 9 a.m. CST, I will be streaming at 9.30 or 10, give or take maybe 30 minutes or so, 9.30 or 10. So just in between then, I will be streaming on Mixer, so mixer.com slash erics. You can find me on there. I uh, will be streaming a variety of things. I will probably begin with streaming some uh, Surviving Together. So you won't want to be missing that. I will be streaming some stuff on here. I'll be working in the Nether. I'll be kind of trying to get Silk Touch and stuff like that. Kind of working on the stuff that we missed out on this time. I'll be doing some uh, mining and stuff like that. Because we need a lot more resources. We just need tons of stuff on here. So we're going to be doing a lot of stuff next time. So please join me tomorrow morning. Well, this morning, actually, in 30 minutes, join me at 9.30 or 10 a.m. CST. 
So anyways, thank you everybody so much for watching. This has been a crazy one to make. So if you could, I would really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and maybe a subscription. So anyways, thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!